Hi everyone, I'm Clinton Lofthouse and welcome to photomanipulation.com, the best place on YouTube for creative photo manipulation, advanced walkthroughs and speed edits. In today's tutorial we are going to be going over how to create heat haze in Photoshop. <music> So heat haze is kind of when you the when you see fire and the air around it warps into specific little kind of um, shapes. It's a bit like when you see uh, images of the desert and you can see the kind of air rippling a little bit in above the heat. So we're going to create that effect, and I'm going to show you how to use that effect on um, three different images. So this image here, this cyberpunk image here, and these uh, double guns here. So first off, let's start on this image. So what we want to do first is duplicate this layer. So we're not creating the effect on the original layer. And then we want to go to filter, filter gallery, and that will load up the filter gallery box. So let's control minus to zoom out. So we get a better see of what's happening. And it pretty much usually comes uh, quite close to how you want it. But um, if you haven't used a glass filter before, it might start on a different filter. But you want to go to glass, and it's inside the distort filter, and click on that. So the settings I usually have are 6 on distortion, 15 smoothness, and scaling around 130. So if you copy those settings, you should be somewhere pretty close. And then go to OK. And that applies then the filter globally but we don't want to use it globally we want to paint it in locally so how we do we do that we add a layer mask and then we press ctrl i to invert that and we hide the effects of what we've just created on the layer mask so what we need to do now is with our brush b set to white we want to just paint it in so obviously where the all the heat is here you would have those that ripple effect just coming in somewhere around here you, had, you would have it coming off this bit here on the sword and coming up this armor here probably on this fire here up this arm here so just kind of around here and it's very subtle so you might not notice at first but if i click it off and on it's just adding that little bit of realism just around the fire areas where the heat would be rising from the flames so I'll just click that off and on again like I said it's very subtle it just adds that little bit of realism so next image so how would we apply it to this so this is basically some kind of soldier using a time machine to maybe come from the future to the present day but what if we want to add a little detail to this to this kind of time warp here that makes it look a bit more realistic or just add a little bit something else to the image so what we want to do is before we do anything because this filter is destructive we want to create a stamp visible layer by holding down control alt shift and e once we have the stamp visible layer we want to go up to filter and down to filter gallery Again, that will bring out the gallery box. So let's press Ctrl minus to zoom in a bit. As you can see, the effect already is warping his face quite a lot. So, I mean, I quite like those settings, but we can change the scale in a little bit down to, let's try 120, somewhere along those lines, and then press OK. And again, this is using the glass filter in the distort folder, press OK. So Photoshop now applies that to the image and then we can create, add a layer mask, press Ctrl I to invert that so we then hide the settings or to hide the adjustments that we've just made and then with a brush set to white, let's change the opacity of that brush to about 50%, we can just start painting on the effect around the time warp and let's do it inside where the, the fabric of time would be getting warped a little bit so I can paint it around the guy here around his jacket so and around all this area here as you can see it just adds that 
cool effect to the portal so that's without and that's with so that's another cool way you can use this heat haze filter like as i like to call it obviously there's other names if you want to call it something else go ahead <laughs> so ne the next uh image is this image here so we've got this cool image of a steampunk guy firing off his two massive guns um so we've got the flames coming out we've got some nice glow from the flames but what would be nice is having some kind of blur or heat haze for, or air dispersion if you want to call it that as well coming from these bullets just again to add that little bit of realism or stylization to the image so once more we create a stamp visible layer by holding down control alt shift and e and then we go to filter filter gallery let's press ctrl minus to see what it looks like and that's looking not too bad to me as it is so let's press ok again just to remind you this is the glass filter in the distort folder press ok that will apply that to the whole image but again never just apply things globally always paint it in selectively locally so we create a layer mask onto that press, press ctrl and i and then we zoom in a little bit with ctrl plus and then let's just paint that in again on a white brush and just paint it in locally so it would be affecting the end of this gun affecting the end of that gun and the flame and then coming from the air from these bullets like so and again it's quite subtle but it just adds that little bit of realism so let's turn that off and on and you just really get that that little bit of realism it, composites is all about selling the fake so have all these little bits of things you can add all add up to a better composite so there you have it i've shown you how to use the heat haze effect or the air dispersion effect or whatever you want to call it <laughs> onto three different images we did it on this image here so we've just got the heat haze or the air dispersion coming from the fire we use it on this portal for so as a sci-fi effect and then we used it on this gun as well on the flame and the bullets kind of the air dispersion as the bullets tear through the air so i hope you found some value in this uh, if you did it would be awesome if you could like share or even subscribe to the channel and we would be truly grateful for that so thanks a lot guys and i will see you again next time